Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Practical Tutorial for COBOL. So today, in this video, I would like to share an important topic called renames. So we'll see how do we use renames in COBOL programming connecting to Mainframe Terminal practically. So where is this rename used? It is used to group the elementary variable and uh, another thing is it will not use any picture class for this. Okay, so there you will be having a set of group variables. So if you want to group them together, so we'll use a rename concept and uh, one important point is it won't use a picture class. Let's go and, and connect to the mainframes and see how it works. So as usual, your program will always start with the identification division followed by program ID, environment and give a little bit of description about your program, what is a program about and where is written, who is the author and so on. So next would be the data division and next I'm trying to give a working storage section where here I'm trying to declare a variable, group variable which is WSA and I have to declare three variables called WS A1, A2 and A3. A1 stores a date and A2 stores a date of month and date and A3 is storing an entire year. So what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to rename it to I'm trying to combine A1, A2, A3 into an A1, A2, A3 and rename it WS A1 through A3 so that a1, A2, A3 is merged together and stored in A1, A2, A3 and uh, another important point as I said here it won't use any picture class so here is just straightly you can see that renames is not using any picture class over here okay then next we will move to the procedure division which is the main processing division where actual programming logic is defined so we in procedure division as you know we will be dividing into the paragraphs so since I am into the main paragraph so I am writing it as a main para so here is a display what I will do is since we have declared three different variables just I will try to display these three variables so that A1 should display date and A2 display 527 and 2014 then when I, display, when I try to display A1, A2, A3 it has to display, display these combined strings together so this is how the COBOL program looks. Again to recap, program always start with identification division, program ID, environment division, data division, working storage section and you are declaring variables then followed by procedure division signed the display statements. Okay, now let's, what is the next step to in order to run your COBOL program. So what we need to do, so now you have your source code, that is your COBOL code, this is so you need to convert into a mission understandable code right so that is the reason in order to understand by the mission understandable code so what you need to do you need to compile and keep it make it understandable by the machine so in order to do that we need to run it through COBOL program so IEWL link edit so compilation and link edit will happen in the compilation to create the load module so make sure this is the proc which I'm using uh, to code this so proc name is IGYWCL which is the IBM supplied one so cobol.sys in here you need to give specify your program path and if you're using any copy lib you'll be providing your copy lib then where do you where do I store my load module out of this compilation process just load your load module in this so and so library and the name should be named the same so that is the source name and the load module name should always be same so now just run it just submit uh, your JCL so that we'll see yes it ended with max is zero so in order to check how if it has been successfully ran so you what you need to do is you need to go to your spool and go enter mark, question mark then your COBOL so you can see that your COBOL written code is zero and also you can cross check the your compilation code so which which uh, just called as a coding sheet of the COBOL so you can see all the variables and I don't have any issues and also cross check in this JE message log so where you can see which stuff has been successfully completed or written code is zero 
zero step for security successfully completed and uh, condition code is zero so this is how you have successfully compiled your cobalt program so what could be the next step so first is writing in the cobalt program using the mempds member the according to the cobalt standards and then the compilation of the cobalt program to get the object module of this cobalt program so next step is using that object module you need to execute or run your cobalt program so how do you run it so you need to write a separate gcl to run your cobalt program so this is your run gcl where you have a job card and you have your program name defined at the step level and you have to define your load module path where your load module was defined so that whenever it reads this program name equal to renames first of all it will look into the step lib library that is v below library so that if it is there in this load module then only your job or your program gets executed and you can sh sh see the results let's go ahead and see I uh, run it so it ended with my access is zero in the same way now I would be going to spool and in spool I can see that you have a sysort created so first we were discuss first we what we trying to display uh, we were trying to display ws a1 a2 a3 then the combined word so first it is playing date 527 and then 2014 2014 and then the combined entire text that's how this is how a uh, cobalt program uh, with renames looks like so just to recap renames is uh, too much the three different fields into one field and it doesn't have any picture class in it so this is how a rename cobalt program looks and uh, we have covered the cobalt program compilation and execution now in running a cobalt program as i said here uh, if you are using a cobalt program you should match with your load library if it is there then only it will be executed suppose i'm trying to give some other name renam which is not available in this road library what happens here if i submit it so it should have been right so you can see it is, has been appended with S806 that it means that it means that that particular load module whatever you have given in the program equal to this parameter that is not available in my library sorry I cannot run this global program so please try to make use of a existing load module that has been already compiled it says so here is watch how do you check your message if you if you come across this situation here says requested module rename not found in this particular library so what you will do is you will be make sure that either I might have given the program name wrong or I might have given this load module name wrong so then you need to submit it by correcting those points then now you can see your program is successfully executed and you got your expected results so this is how a rename works and it can be done through practically so if you like this video kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you could be getting a lot of alerts or to your inbox so stay tuned to youtube channels thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly like share comment on my subscribe channel I will be coming with more and more videos practically about different modules on COBOL, GCL, DB2, CICS, PLBAR1, REX and so on. So have a great and pleasurable day.